kidding me? I'm still gonna eat that. In this video, I share how I ferment egg yolks, some cleaning motivation, grocery haul, healthy habits as a homemaker, creating a routine, gluten and dairy free cooking and baking. I saved some bloopers to the end for you guys <laughs> and many more. Stay until the end to see them all. I'm going to soak the hard boiled eggs in turmeric water so the outside will be just as yellow as the egg yolk. Since we have to avoid dairy, I like to make fermented egg yolks because on the end I will have the result of the cheese-like egg yolks and it is like a tangy taste, it's kind of like dry but I can shred them and they taste amazing, they are very nutritious, very easy to make. I'm going to cover them with salt, put it in the refrigerator for one week and then I'm going to dry them for another week. The rain is back, finally we don't have a freezing temperature and it feels like spring now compared to what we had in the last two weeks and Jod can work on the studio. Some people have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. Getting home after a grocery shopping, I was completely out of the pasta. I needed to buy some chocolate. <laughs> it was emergency, okay? I had none. <laughs> I bought some deodorant. This is one of my favorite uh, that I like to use. And I really like the fact that it was made out of paper, the whole case. I bought some jam, some honey and almond milk. I use these often as well. I was out of sushi rice. I bought some ketchup that is unsweetened. Tomato sauce. I bought some dish soap. We have lots of birthdays on the way, so I like to stock up on items that I'm going to use for cooking and baking. Oh, okay, okay. I'm trying to make this into a habit and sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but I like to prepare the breakfast the night before and that's just another big chunk of my schedule in the morning and I have a coffee cake I think that's how I named that I have it on my website it's a breakfast cake ish thing <laughs> and I'm going to change it up a little bit now I'm going to add some apples that are chopped up to little pieces adding pumpkin spice changing the flavoring or adding different kind of fruits in there can change it up the same recipe and since I have these simple recipes with a little bit of a change I can keep my pantry a little bit more simple with the flower selection that I have
over the years I burned so many things in the kitchen so <laughs> I'm trying to create another habit as I'm staying in the kitchen and I do the cleanup while I bake and cook so I can just do the cleaning while I do the cooking but I need to be present in the kitchen otherwise I forget about it it also encourages me to get done the cleaning by the baking is done so I have a time frame so <laughs> there's no time for distraction basically I racing myself with the cookie <laughs> and um, I, I'm going to have a nice calm morning with a clean kitchen for the next day a bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside when I creating the homemaking habits to keep all my tools in a good condition usually uh, i was thinking about schedules like taking care of the wooden utensils once a month and all the wooden plates but it doesn't really applies to the everyday tools like this cutting boards i've been using them multiple times a day so they just need more love and care so that is something i like to keep in mind i need to prioritize those tools and taking care of those that work really hard in my kitchen and supporting me throughout the day just because the plates and the utensils are made from wood that doesn't mean they have to be maintained on the same schedule because it depends on how often I use them mornings are busy and sometimes it can get hectic yet it is still my favorite part of the day because i love the quietness in the morning i love how fresh my mind is i feel like the whole day is ahead of me it's like a blank paper i can fill it up with many things i want to or what i have to do <laughs> but just the opportunity and the potential for the whole entire day is ahead of me just what Out of all the craziness that comes with the morning to-do list before everybody leaves the breakfast is a stable point that we like to create as a habit to spend that together especially since my boys are doing sports gathering everybody around the table for dinner it is getting harder it is more challenging so in this season of our life it's definitely more manageable and more realistic to get everybody around the table in the morning
when I created my schedule and habits around the homemaking, I started to pay attention to the pattern. At the beginning, I was trying to taking care of things like in a way of putting out fire <laughs> and I was just tackling lots of things at once. I did realize there were days when it was easier to do tasks. I also noticed if I start out my morning by being active, so I'm not sitting in front of the computer, but just getting up and moving around in the house, I feel better for the rest of the day and I'm more upbeat and energetic. So it is very personal for everybody what can work, but just paying attention to those patterns can give a good guide. Doing a reset in the bedroom, just tidying up the things. And since we have this beautiful weather now, which is very warm and sunny, it put me into the spring cleaning mood. But well, also I, I get to see the dust more. <laughs> it is more visible. The other day I broke this um, duster. It has a long handle and as I was shaking it out on the rail, I broke it but I actually find a better use of it now because usually I use a rag to clean the dust and then now that I get to hold it without that long handle it is actually very handy and it's a lot faster to dust that way When I tidy up, I always came across with the most random things with the most awkward spots. Like once I find the deodorant in the pantry and this uh, bread tire thing, I, I don't know what this, what it's doing in the bedroom. I have no idea. <laughs> The best time to clean the floor is in the morning because that's when the dust is settles. During the day, we stir them up with our feet. Tell me I'm being honest. Tell me, did you know that you would be leaving me just like the winners? Tell me I'm being honest. Tell me, should I know that you'd be leaving me so? I don't forget to wash the sheets, but sometimes I can be forgetful to water my plants. So that's why I started to do that habit to tie this task together when I wash the sheets. I know I have to water my plants. Another task that I like to tie together right before the day we have the garbage truck coming. I like to clean out the refrigerator so that schedule is given. Just you wait and see. The problem is for me. There are two rooms in the house where it's more important to open the windows every day than in others and that would be obviously the bedroom but the other one is the kitchen and the reason for that as we cook especially if you have a gas stove it can create so many toxins in there that can have an effect on our health and even though I have an electric stove I still like to ventilate out the kitchen as often as possible right after I cooked something or I baked something because it definitely generates 
guesses that can impact our health. I read in a book one of the most toxic thing in the kitchen can be the Teflon coat on the pot and not just what goes into the food but what goes into the air when it's heated up. actually not a big fan of multitasking or at least I cannot handle multitasking very well but except this one so if you want to look into more what is oil pulling you can just google it but basically it pulls out toxins from the mouth as the tongue and then the inside of the mouth trying to push us away the oils and I like to swish around with this oil in my mouth while I do the vacuuming. I do like the benefits of this oil pulling I just I don't like to do it but I find that if I do this while I'm vacuuming the time goes faster. <laughs> Maybe the rag is a more efficient way to do the dusting because this little duster can stir up the dust but however it is a lot faster so I actually am doing it. So at least I am more likely to stick to this habit of dusting. I've been really enjoying this weather that we have right now. I just hope it's going to just keep getting better until spring arrives. I have some grocery that I have to finish putting away. Gluten-free products are doing better if they are frozen, otherwise they can dry out very fast. Putting a narrow stripe of wax paper helps me to keep separate the slices easier.
sitting down for a proper meal so I can have a good energy and I can just take my time to have a break. I really find joy in getting creative with the food <laughs> and the artist inside of me wanted to color the hummus to pink with some pitaya powder. Oh! Oh no! I forget the salami! The turmeric eggs turned out beautiful. It's really bright on the plate. I have a friend who has a birthday and I'm just going to wrap her present and just get ready for the day when we're going to celebrate. I like to cook a lot of mushroom during the winter months because that's the only food that contains vitamin D so it's very beneficial to eat around this time and I also I like to create an outside kitchen for the summer and for that reason I bought a cooked up last summer well just say it short that didn't work out because it was too slippery and it took forever to warm it up and I definitely want to create that kitchen again for this summer and I started to gather the things that I need for that and that was one of them that cooked up so I ordered this one and I just wanted to try it out make sure it works before the window ends to send it back if it doesn't and this is incredible like if I would have known that thing can work like that probably I wouldn't even own a cooktop because this is even better than my actual cooktop because it's an I think it's called the induction cooktop so it warms up way faster I can move it around it's super light I can put it anywhere so I put it next to the window so I can air out all the steam but it just warmed up everything very fast. If I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best believe The other ring on my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone Guys, 
I have a mystery that I figured out as I was doing the laundry. So, as you know, I always wash something that I'm not supposed to, either if it's a giant nail or battery. I, I always wash something that I'm not supposed to. So this time it was a mystery because everything was red. And then I find this rubberish red. It, it looked like a balloon, an odd balloon, but it was teeny tiny. And we couldn't put that together what it could be. And the whole laundry load had this orangey spots on it. So it was a true mystery. Then I one day I saw Jot was putting his supplements into his pocket on his shirt. And that's when I put it together. He has one supplement that is a bright red. <laughs> Who knows, maybe turmeric in it. I have no idea, but it has a very bright color. And that, that was in his pocket when I washed the whole entire load. And, and then I put it in the dryer too. So it did a nice job. <laughs> so what habit I should implement here? Well, check the pockets. have some leftover walnuts that's gonna be the base for this cookie-ish thing <laughs> I added some eggs and uh, pumpkin spice a little bit of a gluten-free flour and then just to make a paste and that's gonna be the base and I have some apples that I want to use up and I'm just basically going to make little slices and I'm just going to stick them into this dough and then I'm going to bake it it's gonna be a fun snack for the afternoon and it will fill up the house with this fantastic apple scent I'm starting to prepare the dinner as well because as I said earlier kids have a busy schedule with sports and it's not just that but it's keep changing by daily so <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with that but today we have to have an early dinner This cute side dish, uh, I recommend this to eat while it's warm, is just bacon and potatoes and I just use muffin liners to keep them together and it tastes amazing. The potato gets very juicy from the bacon but the next day when I packed this for lunch it was a little bit more stiff as it was cold so I recommend this to eat this as fresh. The leftover potatoes will be cooked and used in a dough.
kidding me? I'm still gonna eat that. Oh, okay, okay. Slip away if I come to Well, you don't hear it from the music, but I was in a rush <laughs> and I was chopping like crazy because the boys had like 10 minutes to eat. Well, if you made it this far, I just want to say a huge thank you and I appreciate you so much and if you are interested to see the bloopers, they are coming up now. <laughs> <laughs>